Russian President Vladimir Putin Thursday warned his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden in a call that new Western sanctions against Moscow could rupture ties between Russia and the United States and would be a big mistake, the Kremlin said. But a Kremlin aide said Russia was satisfied with their phone conversation, which he said centered on security guarantees that Moscow wants from the West amid a buildup of Russian forces close to the Ukrainian border. For its part, the White House says President Biden urged Russia to de-escalate tensions with Ukraine. They added Mr. Biden made it clear that the United States and its allies and partners will respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine. The call, requested by Putin, lasted about an hour. Hundreds of mourners stood in line Thursday to pay their respects to Archbishop Desmond Tutu, whose body is lying in state at St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town. The cathedral is a site where the anti-apartheid hero preached against racial injustice. Tutu died Sunday at the age of 90. The Nobel Peace Prize winner is revered across racial and cultural divides for his fight against white minority rule. Tutu will lie in state at the cathedral until Friday. A jury in New York State found Thursday that Israel-based Teva Pharmaceutical Industries in contributed to opioid addiction in the state. Teva faces thousands of other opioid-related lawsuits around the United States. The decision followed a nearly six-month trial and eight days of jury deliberation. The verdict does not include damages, which will be determined later. Teva did not immediately return a request for comment. U.S. health experts Thursday urged Americans to prepare for severe disruptions in coming weeks, as the rising wave of COVID-19 cases led by the Omicron variant threatened hospitals, schools, and other sectors impacting their daily lives. The warning came as the United States reached a record high in COVID-19 cases, while federal officials issued more travel warnings and reportedly prepared to authorize booster shots for 12 to 15-year-olds next week. The surge comes amid increased holiday travel with New Year's Eve celebrations still to come and as schools grapple with students' return to classrooms following winter breaks. Iran used a satellite launch rocket to send three research devices into space Thursday, a defense ministry spokesperson said, as indirect U.S.-Iran talks take place in Austria to try to salvage a 2015 nuclear deal. He did not clarify whether the devices had reached orbit, but suggested the launch was a test ahead of coming attempts to put satellites into orbit. Iran has one of the biggest missile programs in the Middle East and has suffered several failed satellite launches in the past few years due to technical issues. Washington has said it's concerned by Iran's development of space launch vehicles, and a German diplomat said Berlin had called on Iran to stop sending satellite launch rockets into space, adding that they violated a U.N. Security Council resolution. Sudanese security forces shot to death four people during a crackdown on nationwide protests Thursday, a doctor's committee said, as tens of thousands of people marched against military rule. Security forces fired tear gas and stun grenades as protesters marched through Khartoum and neighboring cities towards the presidential palace, Reuters witnesses said. Thursday was the 11th day of major demonstrations since a coup on October 25th, which saw Abdullah Hamdok removed as prime minister and reinstated a month later. Internet and mobile services appeared to be disrupted in Khartoum on Thursday. AP is reporting that its own investigation reveals signs that Myanmar's military is reverting to a strategy of massacres as a weapon of war. The brutal killings and scorched earth tactics, such as the raising of entire villages, represent the latest escalation in the military's violence against both civilians and the growing opposition movement. Since the military seized power in February, it has cracked down ever more brutally, abducting young men and boys, killing healthcare workers and torturing prisoners.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.